a picture of bed. a bed. We're missing a letter a for spelling e, the e, word bed. E, e, e. Brian, come and write in an E for me. We can reach that one. That one's a little taller. Stretch! Yay. Oh, nice job. An E. Do you think E is the correct letter for bed? Yes. Yes, let's find out. Ta-da! You're right. The next picture is a... Vincent? Cup. 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 What letter do we need to finish the word cup? I know. You know what? I think you can't have your hand on it because it will only activate what you touch. So try to use just the touch of your pen to write your letter. Very good. And what letter did you write? U. Um, you put the pen back and tap the square. See if you've got the correct letter. Tap it again. Ta da! So you have a smart board and you're not sure what to do? You want more interactive lessons in your classroom? No problem. That's what I'm here to do, to show you where to start. It's easy once you know where to go. Follow these steps and you'll be on your way to creating your own interactive lessons. Now feel free to pause this video at any time. All right, so now let's get started from the beginning. To find the, your program, we're going to use Notebook. And most of you will probably have Notebook right here at the bottom of your screen. And so we're going to click on that and bring up the Notebook program. And as you see, it's going to be a blank page. you got one page ready to go. So that's where we're going to start. So with this lesson, we're doing the letter is hidden underneath the box. When you click on it, the letter will show or when the student clicks on it, the letter will show after they've written on it. For the pictures, you want to go into, we're going to go over here to Gallery Essentials, and down here to Pictures, and that's where we're going to locate the pictures. Any picture that you want will be here. The other option is to come right up here to the top and just type in what you're looking for. Now to type your words, you're going to want to come right up here in the corner is all your little tools. So your arrow here, and this is where we're going to click coming down to text, and that's where we get all of our stuff to type. You're going to pick the style you want. We're going to pick this one and you just click on the board and type in your letters here. You can change the size if you want it bold or not. If you want it a different color, you can change it here as well. There. Text. We got the letter style. Whoops. I change that size. Remember to go up and click on the arrow so you can move it. Now you can see the little box showing. We're going to lock these into place. Just click on the arrow, go to lock, lock in place. Box is to cover the letter. Where we go to find that, to the right hand side. And we're going to go to Lesson Activity Toolkit. I'm going to click on that. And then we're going to scroll down to Tools. And then come down here a little further. And you're going to see Interactive and Multimedia. We're going to click into that. And scroll down to here. Then we're going to scroll down and right here, click and reveal square. I'm going to click on that. We're just going to drag it over and drop it onto the page. I'm going to move it. And right here, 
on the lower right hand corner. We can size that, make it a little bigger or smaller, whatever size you desire. Okay. Let's try that again. Make it bigger. And right here in the upper left hand corner, we're going to click on that. Now you see a little menu thing coming up here. It says OK and cancel on the other side. Right here on the left hand side here as you can see is a place that you can change the color of this box. Make this a little bigger for you. You can kind of see that a little better. And here I'm going to click on that. This is how you change the color. For the purposes I have for this particular lesson, I'm using white, but you can change to blues, greens, reds, pinks, purples, whatever color you desire. A color to even if you like backgrounds, you can make that color to match a background. It's up to you. It's limitless at this point. There we go. Click on the color and you can change the color. You okay? And there's a starting color for you. And then when you click on it, it'll reveal what's behind it. Now how we hide the letter is we're going to go into... Oops. I'm going to click on the upper right hand corner. You'll see a drop down menu. We want to go to order and you want to bring it to the front and then it will hide your letter. You also, in this particular case, you don't want it to move when the student touches it, so you want to lock it into place so when they go in and touch it, it'll reveal your letter. Creating a new page is right here, top right hand side. It looks like little pages. That's where you're going to create your new pages and add pages. Here we've already done that, but I'll continue down your right hand side and there's little arrows, one in each direction. Since I already have pages right here, this will take me to the next page, but it will also add the page when you don't have it. Read the words. What's this word? What's this word? And this one. Those are the picture. Magical writing of a circle. <laughs> Good job, thank you. Vincent, come reveal. See if he's right. Is he right? <laughs> Ta da! To modify, again, right hand side, little picture frame, that's where we get all of our stuff. Gallery Essentials. We're going to go to Pictures. We're going to find a picture that we like. Click on it. You can drag and drop. Yes, we can make this bigger. I'm going to move it here. There we go. I'm going to lock this one into place. So the student can't move it around. Now we're going to type in our words. Again, like I showed you before, upper right hand, click onto the text. We're already here. Now just click onto the board and we'll be able to type in our word. I'm going to do 72. It's a nice size for white words. Don't forget to lock these into place. Click on it. Arrow, locking, lock in place. Now to find the button, we're going to go to Activity Toolkit. Let's minimize that. Lesson Activity Toolkit. We're going to go down to Tools. Scroll down to Tools. Interactive Multimedia. Go 
going to scroll down. If you can see, note reveal is what you want. You can do left or to the right. We're going to do the right in this case. Bring the button in. Double click on it. Opens it up so you can enter the right text. I'm going to go and delete these words. And I'm going to put in the correct word. Nope. Now to move it or place it in a different position, just double click here while it's open and put it where it, you need it to go. Just the top part of the button, lock in place. Then the student can't move it. located gallery essentials right over here and then come down to this next box to interactive and multimedia and we're going to click on that and that's going to reveal many different things including the words that have the voice box attached to it and you can scroll down there and find some words that will speak for you. Now for this box, we're going to go to Lesson Activity Toolkit. And then we're going to scroll down to Tools, Interactive Multimedia. And then we're going to scroll down. until you see this question flipper image. That's the one we want. I'm going to click, drag and drop it right onto your page. Lower right hand corner. I'm going to size that. There we go. Upper right hand corner you see these little arrows. We're going to click on that. This is where you'll be able to drag and drop your image right onto the box. You can change the color of your box if you want to. So down here at the bottom here is your color. And here's your color. We can change that color if we want. Just click on that. A color palette comes up and you can choose which other color you like. All for the same thing. To the blue to the back side. And it's ready to drag your image here. So take your picture, drag it up on top of there and you're set. And just click on that corner again and it'll be clear, 
clear your edit box and you're ready. Uh -huh.